in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed there are five major ministries of the Holy Spirit in the life of a believer. We're almost there. Number one, activating your spiritual senses onto godliness, onto righteousness. Number two, he brings the capacity to understand scripture. Number three, the ministry of guidance and direction. Ready for number four? Number four, the fourth ministry of the Holy Spirit in the life of a believer is the ministry of renewal and transformation. Renewal and transformation philippians chapter 2 and verse 5 what is renewal what is transformation aligning your mind your thinking your belief systems to the ways of god let this mind be in you it says which was also in christ jesus please look up jesus did not just excel because he was the son of god there was a belief system there was a philosophy he had an ideology that made the holy spirit comfortable walking in him and he says permit that mindset which was in christ jesus to also be in you hallelujah first Corinth, second corinthians chapter 3 and verse 18 popular scripture second corinthians chapter 3 and verse 18 the bible says but we all how many of us how many of us everyone can participate every believer in christ is a candidate for renewal and transformation we all with open face beholding as in a glass or a mirror the glory of god he says we are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as sponsored by the spirit of god the holy spirit that means i can evolve to more superior versions of myself this is good news the yesterday version of me may be weak the yesterday version of me may be prayerless. The yesterday version of me may not be powerful. Demons and witches and wizards can just play you like a tennis ball. But when you submit to the ministry of renewal and transformation, give yourself a little time and you emerge a giant and a champion. I went up by revelation. In this kingdom, we go up by revelation. Are we together? Please help them. I went up, help them, please help them. I went up by revelation. Please take him, I think he may need some medical attention. Something is wrong there. I went up by revelation. transformation and renewal now please look up the holy spirit there is a relationship between the word of god and the spirit of god it is the unity of the word and spirit everybody say the word and spirit it is not the word alone it is not the spirit alone for a very long time in the body of christ look up please everyone for a very long time in the body of christ there has been a conflict among believers as to the word and the spirit we have a section of believers who are word people they don't have any business with the holy spirit word then we have other charismatics who are spirit people power manifestation no word the bible never teaches us to choose either the word or the spirit it is always the spirit and the bride say come the idea of dichotomizing the ministry of the word and the holy spirit is not an accurate exegesis of scripture the holy spirit takes advantage of the word of god and now begins that mentorship it's like a student in class you need both the textbook and the lecturer is that true for effective study and knowledge even though you have the textbook it's not enough you can read up here and there but for methodical growth 
you need the ministry of the lecturer and the manual the lecturer helps you to explain because in most cases you are reading his own book transformation and renewal transformation and renewal the last ministry of the holy spirit in the life of a believer is empowerment pay attention we're about to pray empowerment pray in the spirit in one minute empowerment isaiah 61 empowerment 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 the ministry of empowerment isaiah 61 please pray sikete barakatosh kelene makatas kalanda brateskia hallelujah praise the name of the lord please give us isaiah 61 look up everybody isaiah 61 from verse 1 it says the spirit of the lord god is upon me because the lord hath anointed everybody say anointed the word anoint is the root word ordain to ordain means to legitimize an operation it means to commission it means to make legal your operation it means approved by an authority are we together so when we say you are ordained we don't just mean oil was poured upon you no oil can be poured upon you and yet you are not ordained to anoint means to legitimize an operation it's an ordination the spirit of the lord is upon me because the lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek he hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted ladies and gentlemen it takes the anointing to bind up the brokenhearted you don't bind up the brokenhearted just by counseling you need the anointing he hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty it takes the anointing more than oratory to tell people you are free you can declare you are free and yet they are not free but with the anointing you can truly declare that people are free and they return free acts chapter 1 and verse 8 jesus himself is speaking now acts chapter 1 and verse 8 please give it to us acts 1 verse 8 but ye shall receive power ye shall receive power koinonia ye shall receive power after that the holy ghost not outside of the holy spirit please look up it is possible to have power outside of the holy spirit power of witchcraft power of satanism diabolism etc that have all kinds of side effects but if it is the power from on high your power in this kingdom is a derivative of your relationship with the holy spirit for instance if you go to meet a spiritualist or a herbalist he's not looking for a relationship from you he just needs to know what do you want and immediately he, he doesn't even need to know your name but when you come to god god give me power he takes away your hand and say i want your heart first i want a relationship the power of a believer is a derivative of a relationship so if you come to me and you say apostle i need power i will first lead you to the custodian of that power who is the holy spirit you shall receive power now you understand after that the holy ghost is come not before not during you engage his ministry then you receive power and the power will help you to be a witness unto me in jerusalem judea samaria to the uttermost part of the earth Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. This was Peter in the house of Cornelius. This was the salvation of the Gentiles. This is the first time from scripture that the Gentiles will be coming into the faithful. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. It says, with the Holy Ghost and with power. Everybody say the Holy Ghost and power. One more time. Say the Holy Ghost and power. It says he went about. You would see him walking alone, but he was not alone. He went about. Not they went about. He went about, but was not alone. 
my goodness from today somebody will go about but you are not alone he went about doing banking but you are not alone he went about in politics but you are not alone he went about as a man of god doing good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil for god was with him the most important message is not power was with him god was with him for god are we together was with him write this as we attempt to conclude the holy spirit is the custodian of the anointing just help those under the anointing my god the holy spirit is the custodian of the anointing please hear me believers you know we are sent to the body of christ more than just this family this fold and i have to tell you this it is easy to delve into witchcraft delve into spiritism delve into all kinds of extra biblical practices and all kinds of demonic activities in sincere search for power there are sincere people who just desired power for ministry power for living and because they yes what is the power do this do that do this do that and because of our desperation for results i'm not saying this in in a in a way that 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 administers condemnation but it's a call for us to be careful there is nobody who is truly empowered in this kingdom genuinely empowered came from the holy spirit so the anointing and the power that we have is a derivative of our relationship just help those under the anointing now watch this some of you if you have a card maybe a debit card or so and if you have a child or somebody you see someone else with that debit card there are two things that that message will tell you either you are a thief you stole the debit card or you have a relationship with the owner of the debit card is that true if you see me with your debit card i have a right to meet you and say sorry i saw this man with your debit card and you say yes i gave it to him as proof of a relationship so when you see people carry power and yet you the custodian of that power is still a mystery and is distant to them something is wrong The power that the believer commands in this kingdom genuine authentic spiritual power is a product of relationship is traceable to him the more we love him the more we spend time in his presence the more we grow in fact did you know that some of the most powerful people it was not even power that drew them to god they loved God with all their hearts. Lord, I love you with all my heart. I seek to see your kingdom come. I seek to see your glory revealed. And while you spend time in fellowship, in worship, study of scripture, learning his ways, soaking in that atmosphere. One day, like a brother in church, they will just give you the mic and say, please, can you lead 10 minutes prayer? And you stand and hold that mic. And the only thing you remember saying is let us pray there's fire everywhere and now people are wondering what is that a little subgroup bible study dear sister can you help us just share something and you just bring a little piece of your secret place and whilst you are sharing people are looking and saying from whence come at this you see when you see that kind of result as soon as you are done you run back to him i have found the secret the secret of relevance i have found the secret so the more i stay with you the more men need me the more i stay with you the more you announce me the secret of being visible is to be hidden with him i'm under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me i am under the shadow of your wings 
your influence is all over me yeah I am victorious I have overcome I am victorious I have overcome Say, I am victorious Yes, I am overcome. I am victorious. I am overcome. I Listen to me. If you embrace the ministry of the Holy Spirit, He will take away shame and even reproach from your life. My call tonight, therefore, beloved people, most of the things we have been searching for in the hands of men can only be found with Him. The fame you are looking for, the visibility you are looking for, He is the custodian of it. The power for miracles, signs, and wonders. You may receive impartation from men, but genuine grace that lasts only come from him. You want to have understanding of the word of God. You want to walk in victory. Now, thanks be to God, the Bible says, which causes us always to triumph. Triumph is only resident with him. But you see, the Holy Spirit is a gentle spirit. He will not struggle and wrestle with the spirit of man. You have your own will. The Bible says, as many as received him. That means he can be rejected. It says, you shall receive power. You can reject it. Please listen to me. There are some of you here who are in ministry or have a call to serve the purposes of the kingdom in the fivefold. Some of you are called to business like we've discussed in our series on witnesses. Can I tell you this? In all you're getting, until you truly encounter the ministry of the holy spirit the holy spirit is not just useful for fivefold ministry he will bring one business idea from your spirit that will cause nations to celebrate you forever look what he's done with our lives look at it he's a master at bringing beauty and glory there are things when you see men cannot do this brothers and sisters no man can do this except God be with him. Therefore, I introduce you to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Sent by God to make men. Sent by God to produce champions. You embrace his ministry. I assure you there is no power in existence that sustains the ability to bring you down no no divination no enchantment whatsoever the Holy Spirit and his power the Holy Spirit God never sends us alone the Holy Spirit makes us and he sends us and the Lord walking with them businessman hear me you don't just need ideas and partners you need the Holy Spirit politician hear me you don't just need intelligence and an opportunity to make policies you need the holy spirit he was the wisdom behind the exploits of daniel the creativity behind joseph the power that strengthened deborah the intelligence that led esther to become queen the wisdom that made ruth become the wife of boaz samson the spirit of might that came upon him to become a mighty man did you not see how Samson defeated Goliath? Time will fail me, the Bible says, to talk of this man. 
the holy spirit you have embraced things of lesser value now it's time to give him a chance you have embraced money you have embraced fame you have embraced the complimentary card of those you perceive to be great yet ignoring him you have a garage in your house for your car because you consider it valuable you have a jewelry store or a, a jewelry collector for all your expensive jewelries show me the place you have prepared for him as proof that you value him you have a store where you keep food in your house because you know that man shall not live by bread alone but there is bread in the equation of his living so you kept space for bread who taught us to ignore the ministry of the holy spirit so much we have interpreted him today as a nuisance to civilization when you talk to a businessman about the holy spirit ah, leave that church thing we are trying to seal a deal it is vain to wake up in the morning only to sleep late in the night eating the bread of sorrow it is only god that can give men rest hear me brothers and sisters we're about to pray god is calling you to a higher call a higher dimension it's time to stop living an ordinary natural life no your life will not produce glory when it is ordinary the holy spirit you can invite him and he can come and you can start a journey that journey of power are you ready to pray when you pray then i will speak over your heart listen the holy spirit is not looking for an affair he's looking for a relationship a relationship that lasts come after 30 40 50 years of your life he's still your best friend i introduce to you one who is not just god alone but he one holy spirit i need you afresh in my life i confess my need for you go ahead and pray oh i confess my need for you Spirit of the Living God. Shena masala mana na ne mala na mana na tiara da da. Shalakatebrandegadebalakasa. Are you praying? I need you. I need you. I need you. Listen. Look up. I used to think I love you was the most powerful sentence in English until I found out that there is a sentence higher than it. I need you. I need you is an expression of total dependence. You are my life. I don't want to patch you among my many activities. I don't want to use you as a spare tire. So I keep running with my mind. Then when I encounter trouble, where is that errand boy called the Holy Ghost? Come and help me get a miracle. When you are done, he says, now you can find your way. You must embrace the presence of the Holy Spirit. Cry for a relationship. Are you ready to pray? Please lift your voice in one minute. Don't be distracted. Pray. He is the maker of men. He is the lifter of men. The Holy Ghost is the helper. in the name of jesus 
listen we'll sing this song just once it just came to my spirit spirit lead me where my trust is without bones let me walk upon the wall help me wherever you will take me deeper than my feet For the last time, Spirit leads me in. Let me walk upon the waters. Take me deeper than my feet could ever walk. I pray for you a hunger for intimacy with the Holy Spirit may that grace come upon you as individuals as businessmen as members of Parliament as a couple may homes in this place become tabernacles for the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ not only your heart but may your house become an altar it says above the cherubims below the mercy seat there i will meet with you that you will make room for him the grace to wake up in the night and while others are sleeping you are fellowshipping you are the lover of my life i cannot do without you desperate for you thirsty for you you are life to me you are not a charm or a genie that i use for miracles i place priority on you i need you with my life hallelujah listen to me when you find him you find power when you find him you find influence when you find him your fear dies you no longer fear the future will i be great will i last all that is nonsense when you find him but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded he is able to keep that which is committed unto him against that day you can tell that your ministry or your business 30 40 years will still be blazing fire and bringing glory to the name of the lord we live in an uncertain world almost nothing is certain right now but i tell you you can find certainty in an uncertain world let him hold your hands let him hold your ministry let him hold your family apostle you don't know what will happen i'm afraid for my children i don't even know what they will learn commend them to the holy spirit and remain a steward while he remains the owner and you can find rest otherwise hypertension will destroy you in such a world that we live in when you find him you find life listen to me our time is fast spent i have just two or three minutes zaria abuja following online i want to make an altar call right now please no movement let's minimize movement this is a very solemn before i speak blessings upon you i just sense in my heart to make the altar call there are people who are here and you are saying apostle whilst i heard you talk about the holy spirit he began to do that work you said he does in unbelievers the work of conviction and you are saying my life is not all right i need to come to him wherever you are if you are in this auditorium up the balcony scattered around and then all the overflows down to the basement outside our zaria family those following from whatever nation whatever continent i'm going to count one to five and whilst i do this i want you to run and come and stand it's always my honor and my joy do not neglect the ministry of the holy spirit you know what he's already doing for some of you he's speaking to you and saying are you going to sit back and assume you don't know i'm the one nudging you make your way to the front one 
don't allow one person to be the first to come quickly leave your seat please stand please stand please stand come quickly take over take over i have come to the end of myself take over take over i have touched the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah i have come to the end of myself hallelujah Keep coming. So take over, take over. I have come to the end of my day. I have come to the end of my day. There is nobody who sustains the ability to respond to this call if the Holy Spirit does not help him. For no man can say Jesus is Lord except by the Spirit. And no man having the Spirit can call Jesus accursed. Ladies and gentlemen, my brothers and sisters, young, old alike, thank you. Thank you for the courage to respond to this nudging of the Spirit. I taught you already that whilst we speak, we are mortal men with our limited expressions but in the midst of the frailties of our communication the holy ghost himself behind the speakings bringing this conviction some of you are crying there's no reason to be afraid don't be ashamed of your tears you are before the god of all flesh you're not attending a funeral jesus is here giving you life even life everlasting john 10 10 says the thief cometh not but for to steal to kill and to destroy he says but i am come that ye may have life and to have it more abundantly all those in the overflows down to the basement outside azaria family you who is watching from your home whatever tv station you're watching from and then watching from the internet all our social media platforms now is an opportunity to tell jesus yes now is an opportunity to tell him i'm i want to win this war of destiny my life is empty without you and for all of you are in front please lift your right hand very high to the heavens and you say this after me knowing that jesus is here he does not condemn you he comes as a loving father the spirit of the living god representing the unlimited presence of jesus even in this place he's here to help to impart eternal life and to begin a journey with you that only ends in victory say after me lord jesus one more time say lord jesus i love you with all my heart tonight i have heard your word i believe with my heart that you are savior you are lord you are king i confess my inability to help myself therefore help me i decree and declare that i am a recipient of your life your grace and your power i receive eternal life into my spirit i receive the abundance of grace even the gift of righteousness and i declare that i reign in life from tonight the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life i go forward ever and backward never amen keep your hands lifted father thank you as always we present to you these ones that jesus died for thank you for the grace and the ability to save even to the uttermost i pray in the name of jesus that you will take these ones and that they become part of this great family of faith by the authority of scripture i declare your sins forgiven in the name of jesus the lord gives you a new beginning the power of satan sin the grave and hell is broken over your life i decree and declare that from today you begin to go forward upward and victorious only in the name of jesus christ i commend you finally to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the holy spirit may you be built may you mature and be established in righteousness for in jesus name i pray amen and amen thank you for making this bold declaration i'd like you to just 
follow the counselor there's a a gentleman and a lady they're waving their hands here please i'd like you to follow them there'll be a group of counselors that will receive you just for a few minutes and you'll be back to your seat koinonia let's honor them all the overflows there should be people waving their placards at you let's receive the blessing as we wrap up for tonight hallelujah amen let's honor and bless the lord for the adorable ministry of minister chi thank you thank you thank you so much To bless means to empower so that you can excel. That's what it means to bless. To bless means to receive the engracing that sponsors your excelling. That's what it means to bless. Empower to succeed. We do not just advance. The Bible says it is the Lord. Remember again, the primary ministry of the Holy Spirit to the unbeliever is conviction. And then it leads to salvation. The primary ministry of the Holy Spirit to the saved believer is transformation. The primary ministry of the Holy Spirit to the transformed believer is empowerment. And then his ministry to the empowered believer is character and humility. Hallelujah. Are you ready to receive the blessing? In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Your week beginning, let it be a week of excellence for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let the excellence that emanates from your Christian life draw many to Jesus this week. I pray for your prayer life. A fresh hunger like never before. Let it rest upon you in Jesus name. I decree and declare that your passion and your hunger for the word. Let it be ever increasing in Jesus name. And now I pray. For some of you let this week be the week that you start a fresh relationship with the holy spirit and i pray for you the empowerment that comes from fellowship with him in the name of jesus may that empowerment speak over your life i release you this week for signs and wonders for favor and increase for influence and greatness for speed of accomplishment in the name of jesus christ Every power that is not of the Christ, every spirit that is not of the Christ, I declare it finds no expression in your life this week. You are blessed, you are highly favored. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that the grace for honor is upon you. You rise up above your contemporaries. In the name of Jesus Christ, and everything that has refused to walk in your life, this week go back and try it again. Together as a family of faith, we remain ambassadors for the kingdom witnesses promoting the interest of jesus in the name of jesus christ sickness is far from you death is far from you defeat is far from you failure is far from you no weapon fashioned against you will prosper and every tongue that rises up against you may my god judge in the name of jesus hallelujah let me encourage every one of us please next week um i want to encourage you to participate in the fast hallelujah let's trust god for grace to participate in a fast we do it sundays why do we fast we fast to open up our hearts so that we can receive please make sure you open up your heart and receive them so we're fasting on sunday you can break your fast anything from two maybe because many of you would have to come here settle down and so on and so forth so please make sure we wait upon the lord in a fast crying out for more of him crying out that we open up our hearts for more of his power more of his grace in the name of jesus christ together as a family of faith let's share the grace in fellowship